Jordan. Hi everyone, we're going to graph quadratic functions in intercept form. This is where the equation looks like this one here. And you're getting x-intercepts. So you're basically, when it says intercept form, they're talking about x-intercepts. I'm also going to do the y-intercepts on this. And I have two examples. The axis of symmetry is the midpoint between these two uh, right here. And we're going to uh, use uh, the fact that if A is positive, it opens up. And if A is negative, um, the graph opens down. So here's a picture of what I'm talking about. P and Q are your x-intercepts. And your axis of symmetry is where you add these two and divide by two. <coughs> excuse me. So, excuse me. Okay, so basically from your axis of symmetry, we went this way for and this way for. So basically when you add it up and um, divide by, if you, this is it, in this case, this is at negative one. And this one's at um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is at seven. And you add that up and divide by two it is 6 over 2, which is 3. So this would be x equals 3 in this one. All right, so here's our first example. Um, this one's going to... Um, um, I'm on the wrong thing, so... This one is going to open down because it's negative here. So we know it opens down. I'm going to plot my x-intercepts. Now, I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. This is x minus a negative 1, all right? Because I had to follow the form of x minus p times x minus q. So my p is negative 1, and my q is, negative, is positive 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? Um, my vertex is going to be... Um, uh, I'm going to add these two together, so I'm going to add my P, which is negative 1, and my Q, which is 5. Add them together, finding the midpoint, basically. We get 4 over 2, which equals 2. So here is my axis of symmetry. X equals 2. Now, I'm going to plug to find my y, so I know it's 2 comma something. I find my y by plugging in 2 to this original equation. And I get negative 3 times negative 3, which is going to equal 9. So 2, 9, which is right up here and it's going to go through here. Now I'm going to go ahead, I don't have to on this one, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what the y-intercept would be because it helps you graph. The y-intercept is when x is 0. So when x is 0, what is y? So I'm going to plug in 0 for my x, and I get negative 1 times negative 5, which equals 5. So I'm going to go up here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It opens down because of the negative. Since it's at 5 here, and this is my axis of symmetry, I'm going to go over 2 here. This just gives me more uh, points to plot and makes it more accurate. And this is the vertex up here. The vertex is at 2, comma 9. And this point here is negative 1 comma 0. This point here is uh, 5 comma 0. Okay, let's do another one. This one opens up. This is not in vertex form. So I'm going to rewrite this as y equals, I'm going to factor out a 2, x squared minus 4. Now from your factoring skills, you should know that this is x minus 2 times x plus 2, because this is a squared minus b squared. All right, now, so my p is 2, 
and my Q is negative 2. So when you add these two together, so let's just go ahead and plot those 2 and negative 2. And you can kind of tell that the midpoint is here, right here. So your axis of symmetry is x equals 0, but I'll go ahead and do the midpoint. So this is x equals 0, but if you add these two together, 2 plus a negative 2 over 2, you get 0 over 2, which is 0, which we already knew. We could tell by looking. My y-intercept is where you plug in 0. So that's going to be 2 times... Uh, 0 squared minus 8, so that's going to be negative 8, which is right there. And what else do we need? Um, well, that's basically going to be your um, vertex as well. So the vertex is 0, comma, negative 8. And it opens up because this is positive here. And I connect it. And there we go. And that's how you uh, graph quadratic equations that are in vertex form. The next thing we're going to do is solve quadratic equations by graphing. Okay? And we're going to um, find solutions and graph the equations having one solution, no solution and approximate zeros. And that's all, and I hope you have a nice day.